Hi, it's Mike with AskTractorMike.com. In my last video, I talked about hydraulic couplers and the different types and knowing what you have. Today, I'm going to show you a trick for making hooking up hydraulic couplers a lot easier. And it's, uh, it's something I think will work for you. It's something I came up with. And it, it's something that will make your tractor a little bit more versatile. And it's something that will... Um, enable you to have the best of both worlds of the two types of connectors or couplers. And let's talk a little bit about uh, just, just basically what I'm talking about here. On a, a tractor, if you have a tree shear or a tree puller or a grapple at the front of the tractor, you have to have hydraulic flow up there to power the cylinders that make the thing work, whatever it is. And to get hydraulic flow up there, you've got to have a way of taking that implement off the tractor. So you have to have a hydraulic coupler that disconnects and uh, lets uh, hydraulic hoses come apart so you can take the attachment off. And basically on most tractors there's two types of hydraulic couplers. There's Pioneer or Poppet, which is what this is, and there's Flat Face, which is what this is. And the two systems have advantages and disadvantages that I want to talk about first and then I'm going to tell you how to have all the advantages and none of the disadvantages of both of them. Let's talk first about the the Pioneer Coupler. The Pioneer Coupler has been used in the ag world forever. It's got a poppet at the top of this male part and when that goes in and connects you have a, a solid sealed flow of hydraulic fluid and the way you connect it you pull a collar back and then you take the male portion, put it in, and push it all the way forward, and then let loose of the coupler, and then that's, that's locked. That won't come off, and that'll let hydraulic oil flow through it. Now, the advantage of this system, and this is a huge advantage, if I want to plug that in, and on this side of the line, I've got pressure. Say I've got an implement that I took off in the winter, and now it's August, and I want to hook it up, and that pressure in that line has grown dramatically since I took it off because as oil heats up and with these black hoses it's going to heat up every degree it changes it gets bigger and more pressure and a lot of times you'll be staggered at how much pressure there is in this line so if I'm trying to hook this up and I've got a little pressure on the tractor side too now I want to shut my tractor off and jiggle my hydraulic uh, uh, like joystick or whatever I control my hydraulics with to try to take the pressure off but if there's 4,000 pounds of pressure here and, and very little here, it's going to be hard to hook that up. With the Pioneer system, if I take a shop rag and put over this tip and just tap it with a hammer, and you've got to be real careful. You don't want to damage that poppet, but if you just give it a tap, it'll, it'll flow oil everywhere. That's why you want a rag over it, but it'll take the pressure off. And a couple of taps... And, and you'll, you'll be done with the, uh, the pressure in the system. And the old farmer trick is when you had this, you put a shop rag over it and you put it on your draw bar and push down and, and pretty soon it, it, it uh, lets the pressure off. Now, that's the advantage of Pioneer. The disadvantage of Pioneer is it's, it's messy. There's a cavity in here that is full of oil and when you release this, there's always all the area of oil that was in here leaks out and it makes the connector get nasty the coupler get nasty and it, it just it attracts dirt and filth and these things get terribly dirty and if you got this drops in the dirt you can get dirt in your hydraulic system so that's the the big big disadvantage you're losing oil all the time and uh, but you can take the pressure off now the advantage of the other type here the flat face couplers, and this is what you see on skid loaders now. And a lot of times your skid loader, the fittings will be right here and you're pushing up. You just push in and it locks. And then to unlock it, you just pull your collar back. You're not having to pull the collar back to put it in. So actually, as long as there's no pressure there, everything being equal, this is easier to hook up because you're just pushing and it locks in. And there's no mess. It might leak out a little, but it'll be a minuscule amount. I, I mean, it's, it's hardly anything. And with being flat face, 
you can just wipe off the ends. It's a lot cleaner. It's a better system and it flows more. So this is the best system. But people all the time are complaining about having to hook this system up under pressure. So what do you do? Well, here's a trick I've come up with that I think will work for you. And it's, it's worked for me and it doesn't cost that much. What I did is made an adapter to go from flat face coupler to Pioneer. And I'll show you what I did. I went to the local farm store and bought a really short piece of 3 8 hose. And then I needed a coupler to go on that. Let's see, which end does that go on? I think it's, I think it's that end. There, and, and if I were putting this together for good, I'd use thread sealer, always use this thread sealer. That's like $9 for that little container, but it'll keep you from having hydraulic leaks. So you put that on there, and then you put your, I've got to put my flat face coupler on one end, and my Pioneer on the other end. Okay, when I've got this done, what I basically have is a way of going from flat face couplers to Pioneer and back. So what I'm gonna do when I take my implement off my tractor, I'm gonna disconnect it, and then I'm gonna go get this adapter, and I'm gonna take the couplers off the tractor, and then I'm gonna plug these couplers into the attachment. And that gives me a little extra hose space there to let the pressure loose. Then when I'm ready to hook it back up, and let's say I unhooked it in the winter, it's set there till summer, and now I want to hook it back up. I can release the pressure by tapping this poppet here. And then I can detach this, and the pressure's out of the system. I can hook my flat face couplers up to my tractor a lot easier. I think if you'll try this trick, It'll work and it doesn't cost that much. Now these flat face couplers are fairly expensive, but these Pioneers are not that expensive and, and the short piece of hose is not that expensive. So it's worth it to have it. And the other thing you do when you have these adapters, you can go from flat face coupler uh, attached uh, implements to Pioneer implements just by putting these in the system. So it gives you more versatility if you're borrowing attachments from your neighbor or renting them. You can still plug them into your tractor and it makes hooking up a lot better. It gives you the best of both worlds. So I highly recommend you get you a set of these. I don't sell them, but you can go to your local farm supply store and get the couplers and the hoses and, and any adapters you might need and make that. And I think it'll make your life a little easier when it comes time to hook your implement back up to your tractor. I appreciate you watching my videos. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'd be honored. Click the Mike Face icon and check the bell so you're notified when I post future videos. Here's a link to my website and the Tractor Fun Store with a bunch of cool items for the tractor owner that helps support my channel. Here's another video you might want to watch. Thanks for watching.